Hello. Hello. Hi. I'm gonna check if that actually started or not. <laughs> not on my screen yet, but I might get a notification from YouTube. Hold on. Okay, I think it does. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good. So, <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? As you know from the title, we're gonna be talking about the week of vultures, uh, but that's like the second half, and we'll get to that. Um, before that, it's all non-spoilery, so everyone's welcome, and we will let you know when we go on to the spoilery bit. But yay, another quarter winter, next one spring. Can you like imagine that? <laughs> time goes so fast. I know, especially because we only do, do these like every quarter, but it seems like not that long since the last one. Although, yeah. you know. <laughs> so we have Jess, Jade, and Beck today with us, and Taylor might be popping in later on. Um, I linked all of the ladies down below, so make sure to check them out because they're wonderful and brilliant and you should have them in your life. <laughs> um, Stop it, you. <laughs> never. It is my <laughs> mission in life. Um, <laughs> hey, everyone in the chat. Thank you so much for actually joining us. <laughs> this is always very cozy, so, you know, no pressure whatsoever. Um, so the way that we do, I'm just gonna like quickly say, although most of you probably have hung out with us before, but first of all, we are going to answer a couple of questions from Instagram, because we always just sort of, well, we always, like this is the second time, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> we always ask you guys to ask some questions, just in general bookish ones, so we just chat up a bit. Um, then we're gonna move on onto the nominations. So every time we go on live, the people who join, because there's more members, but obviously different members can attend different times um, so the members who are attending will uh, give a nomination for the next quarter and then I'm gonna put it in the random generator and we're gonna get one from there although the previous winner which is Jess this time uh, does not get a vote <laughs> oh, cool. three going in the odds are in all of our favors I know yeah. I have never gotten a book picked yet ever oh, or you have it. maybe today's your day maybe I don't know. It's like, what is what is this? 33% chance for each or something like that? 33.33. 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, very impressed, why not? <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, start with the questions, I suppose, yeah? And then obviously we're going to talk about the book. <laughs> um, okay, let me get the Instagram story up. Um, okay, so uh, Nina Dinos is asking, how long does it generally take you to read a standard sized novel? A day. <laughs> that was so quick. <laughs> <laughs> if I really want to, a day. Mm -hmm. Like if I have time. Yeah. So like six or seven hours. Jade? I think... It depends what's going on in life at the time. If I have the time, then yeah, probably a day. If I have the time and don't procrastinate, if it's a normal work week, then five days. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. For me, I think it depends on the book more than on my time. But if I sat through, and obviously like the density, and if it's like a contemporary or like high fantasy or, yeah. um, you know, written all in dialogue or whatever, but like a standard <laughs> book, um, usually would take me quite a few days. Um, I think I basically read like 40 pages per hour. 30 depends on the book. 40-ish. <laughs> so that. <laughs> Beck. <laughs> I'm um, not a fast reader. I'm like, I feel like every, like three days. I read about a hundred pages before I go to bed every night, unless it's a weekend, in which case I can dive in a little bit more, but normally three days. Yeah. yeah. I think for me, the main issue is like today I finished Renegades, which is actually a really big book. Um, but I took my whole sweet month to do that just because it was one of those books that when I read it, I read it fairly quickly, like 50 pages per hour or something. Mm -hmm. For me, that's quickly. <laughs> but um, it's not like a slow book when I read it and I enjoy it when I read it. But it was one of those that I just didn't want to pick it up. Like once I stop, I don't feel that like need to grab it onto it again. So 
it took me a month. <laughs> but, you know, I think it just depends. What about you guys? Um, oh, someone loves your accent, Bex. Thank you. <laughs> and I probably called it sexy because I'm awkward. Australian <laughs> accent. <laughs> Say something super Australian. What's the most Australian word? <laughs> I can't say that one. <laughs> <laughs> um, we we don't even say it, but everyone thinks it's g'day. But I I very rarely say that word. G'day. Nice. Is that a good day? Hey. Good day, mate. Yeah, means hey. Ah. Morning. Wow. Oh, Funny. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Funny. Stop it. There's too much attention on me now. <laughs> <laughs> <See crikey. laughs> <laughs> it's kind of funny because I noticed um, like very stereotypical Scottish thing to say and it's always a man on the bus speaking with someone on the phone super loudly and it's, it's always like calling people pals <laughs> and it's just I don't know it's very funny to me um, okay I also read about 50 pages an hour cool that makes me feel good <laughs> Uh, yeah, someone's saying also around 50, but if it's a contemporary 75 pages, yeah, I think it really depends. Also, yeah. if I'm super into a book, I'll read it much faster just because I want to know and my eyes are just like hungry. <laughs> if it's fluffy, it's like you can just breeze through it. Yeah, I feel like if, if it's set in our world as well, much easier because then I don't mm -hmm. have to like, I can sort of auto fill it when I go. And when it's like a high mm -hmm. fantasy, I'm like, I can't skip anything because it won't make any sense. <laughs> yeah. Not that I skip, but you know what I mean. Speaking of, I have a question for you. Do you guys um, ever skip to like the end to check how the book ends? Or is this like a big no-no? <laughs> what you ask? I oh, have, she does. I have opinions. I love do. <laughs> you do? Yeah, I can't oh. do that. I do. If I hate it, I'll skip to the end. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. If I'm bored or don't know that I care too much, I need to know that what happens at the end is worth the journey. So I'll skip to the yeah. end, see if I think, oh, yeah, I want to know how they got to that point. Then I'll go back and continue. I don't know. I've been asking people on Twitter. There's, like, book series that I've read or, like, started. I'm like, can somebody just spoil the book for me? Because I don't want to read it, and I just want to know what happens. No, that's Funny. fair enough, yeah. yeah. I feel like if I knew how it ended, though, like, unlike Jade, I would just not want to even check because I would already know the end. So it would yeah. be like, eh. that's how I am. I wouldn't yeah. want to know. Yeah. It's probably worth the journey, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you the type of person, Jade, that can watch a movie if they know how it ends? Yeah. Oh, for a movie. I want to know how it got to that point. Like, you're at a good point at the beginning and then something terrible happens and then they're at a good point at the end. I'm like, but how did they solve <laughs> that? What how did this happen? happen? How did that? Like for me, the most satisfying part of it is working out how you got to the resolution. Mm, so I want to know how they got there. I really but like the ending. Thing. So for me, yeah. the end has to be an unspoiled. But in a book, in a movie, I don't really care because all the visuals and stuff. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, and like less time. You That's know. why we can watch Harry Potter like fourteen thousand times. That's true. <laughs> Even though we all know it by well, some most of us know it by heart. Yeah, I feel like a movie I could rewatch more times than the book, like any movie or any book. Mm -hmm. um, just, I suppose it's because of the time, you know. Um, okay. Uh, the person in the chat. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I could not probably pronounce your name. Um, Kaliana, maybe? Pretty much summarized what I meant. Skip ahead and see, like, oh, my God. Yeah, what is happening? How did that happen? And then go back. Okay, carry on. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you guys have any questions? You guys who are watching us because we are very open for those. <laughs> um, let me check another one. Do you have any special childhood books? If so, why is it special? The Green Mile by Stephen King. That was your childhood book? <laughs> that, was the first, that was the first book I ever read on my own. I was like That's seven. That's so grim. <laughs> it, like, isn't it literally sad? The beginning of the book is about two girls who are like six or seven and they're raped and murdered. 
Oh my god. I was like, this is inappropriate for a seven year old, but <laughs> seven year old? You just yeah. going. Yeah. Yes. I found it on my dad's shelf. Whatever, it's cool. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> um, but it was like the one thing that I think got me into reading was that book. Mm-hmm. Like always. Maybe that's what got you into like Stephen King as well. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Best? For sure. Um, oh well, it's a hard one because like I remember reading Harry Potter. Mm-hmm. We're gonna just like, not not count Harry Potter because that's no. like <laughs> But I don't remember like loving it as much as I do now. Mm-hmm. Um so yeah, like the first cool. one I can remember was would have been Twilight. Mm-hmm. Which is an interesting choice. <laughs> now okay, Beck, whatever did it. Future Beck doesn't appreciate it, but <laughs> I enjoyed it back then. <laughs> oh, Patricia is saying Twilight series for me as well. So oh. there you go. Thanks. Okay. I feel like there are so many of the like classic kids books that everyone loves that I just didn't read and still haven't read like Harry Potter. Um, <laughs> but it depends how young you're going. Because when I was like really, really young, the Rainbow Magic books, like they were very special to me. And I read so many of them. I would read like one an evening. Mm-hmm. But they were small, and I am talking like when I was six or seven. So yeah, way more child friendly than Jess's pick. Um, <laughs> too. That's technically a children's series. I think for me, it wouldn't be like a children's, more like very early teen, and that's the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants <laughs> because oh. I read the first two, then made my dad read the first one. <laughs> I just remember that it was really random. My dad doesn't even read the, like that many books. I think he was just like his girl trying to get him to read something. So he was like, okay, maybe he lied. Maybe he didn't read it. I don't know. It was funny. <laughs> but then I remember the third one. I don't know if they were translating that. And I went, um, I just got so involved in the story. I couldn't wait to know if they're gonna translate it to Lithuanian or not because I knew the book is already out. And so I found it on the internet. I downloaded the PDF file. I went to my mom's work and I pretended I have a project to print and I printed the whole bloody book out (laughs) in the printer. Oh my God, I remember you telling me about that. (laughs) So that that is a special one in my head because I just really have very fond memories of that. It's the whole um, journey. (laughs) <laughs> of that was your mom pissed no <laughs> did she know no oh, okay <laughs> i don't think she would have i don't even know what, i don't really know why i lied oh yeah like because you know in your like mind you're like oh sneaky <laughs> 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 like playing some sort of um zero seven music in your mind making a big deal out of it <laughs> um Babysitter's Club. Ooh, I've never heard of that. We had that, but I didn't read it. Same. I remember other people reading it. I don't remember I've many never like, heard of it. childhood books. I don't remember. I, I had the tome of um, the Brother Grimm fairy tale, so maybe that, because it was like all nice and illustrated. <laughs> the series of Unfortunate Events books were ones that I liked in my life. Oh, book. yeah. I wasn't even aware of the child years. We had a teacher in kindergarten who used to read them to us. Like maybe not kindergarten, maybe a little bit older than that. But he used to do the voices. Oh. And it that I think I think my childhood is just overshadowed by Harry Potter, but I feel like there are a lot of books mm-hmm. that I can think of. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't break the printer. <laughs> <laughs> she just tried to. <laughs> I just remember like also like um I didn't know English that well back then but I was just very determined so I just like had like a um what do you call it? dictionary next to me as well for the words that I didn't really understand because I was like I need to know <laughs> <laughs> that's some dedication yeah I really wanted to know what's gonna happen <laughs> um okay so if you guys come up with any questions, please shoot them there in the chat. And I think we're going to move on to the nominations now. Ooh, um, let me actually find the random generator. <laughs> <laughs> ah. 
how I put my phone on a plane mode. I was like, why is this not working? <laughs> uh, okay. Jade, why don't you start? Pressure. Ah, okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, okay. So my nomination for the spring quarter is This Mortal Coil by Emily Suveda. Mm -hmm. I think is how you pronounce that. I've heard some pretty great things about this and I've had it on my shelf for a while. And from what I've heard, it's the sort of book that is kind of like a, oh my God, what, what, mm -hmm. what? Which are my favorite thoughts. So yeah, um, I think this is about a girl whose dad is like a leading gene scientist and there's some sort of virus and her dad was trying to find a cure for it but then he dies but I think he might die under like suspicious circumstances and then she has to try and like continue his research and find the cure but it all gets a bit twisted and bizarre and weird. Is it a standalone? No it is a trilogy the second one has Ooh. just come out. We bought and it together. We did and it's got fancy edges that look Really pretty. <laughs> I I actually looked at my shelf because I thought I uh, unhauled it, but I didn't, so I still have it. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> if it gets I heard, I heard yeah, good things, but I'm intrigued. I've, still. I've heard really great things. The tagline on it is "There's no gene for run like hell," which also intrigues me. <laughs> I'm always afraid with these. Um, sometimes I feel like if they go too wild and just do, write something inaccurate, then it will just ruin the rest of it. That's true. That's true. I think that was, was the girl that I spoke with. She, like, works in that field. Uh, yeah. Uh, I can I see know, that. You know, yeah. it would be completely fine. Um, I'm trying to find that generator thing that I usually use. Uh, so, back you go. <laughs> Um, so I've gone with um, Shadow of the Fox by mm. Julie Kagawa. It's a pretty book. I got yes. That. Well, ooh, yay. In any case, then I don't have to buy a book. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I can't read about it this morning, but it sounded interesting. It had a, it had dragon in the synopsis, and I was like, oh, yep, you're, you're nice. <laughs> um, so in this world, a thousand years ago, someone made like a wish to the great Cam Kami dragon and kind of put the world into darkness and then the age of another wish is coming around so we follow someone yumiko who's trained to hide that she's half kitsune um and i think she's kind of trying to protect the scroll but mm. then she teams up with someone who's like wants the scroll to use the wish yeah so it sounds interesting and it had a dragon in it and it looks beautiful. Do you know, like, um, I heard good things about that one as well, but do you know what uh, really reminded me? Anyone watch Dragon Ball Z? Because that is what I think about when I when, you know, the ball, when they had to collect the balls and to present it to the dragon to get the wish. Yeah. <laughs> it really reminded me of that. New Age Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> going for. It's fun. I like both of these, so I'm very excited to what's going to get picked. I really hope um, your pick's good. <laughs> I really hope your pick's good, because it's probably going to be yours that gets picked. It's why? I haven't gotten anything picked yet. I'll but have to you know, over a year yeah, or yeah. something, and I still the haven't universe, had it. The universe is making this nice and even for us, so make it a good one, Jay. Well, <laughs> I'm, not sure. so much pressure. Um, I'm gonna go with quite an older book, not too old, but like, um, okay. it's been in the game for a while, but I haven't read it. And I think most of us in the quarterly book club haven't have not read that, so um, I'm gonna, I, I don't know this for a fact, but I hope. <laughs> um, it's An Ember in the Ashes by Sabbath. <gasps> I love him. Okay, yeah. I'm okay. I'll <laughs> I, read it. That's fine. I really want to read this because I feel like it's going to be my cup of tea. Mm -hmm. First of all, I really like the author on Instagram, like her personality. I just really <laughs> like her. 
And also, I know that she puts her characters through absolute hell, oh, yeah. which I love. <laughs> so, so that is what I'm really excited. I don't know much about the actual story because I don't really wanna. Um, but um, and I avoided spoilers for so long now that I feel like I really am playing with the faith. So I really need to get on this before I get spoiled. <laughs> um, but this is basically about. Oh, actually, wait, Jess, you read it, so you could like summarize this. <laughs> I, I could. Do you not want to? <laughs> okay. I don't want to spoil it. Okay, it just says on the back, it says, an orphan fighting for her family, a soldier searching for his freedom, a story burning to be told. I don't know. I'm not going to say it's, anything else. It mentions some... Um, basically being undercover somewhere, mm -hmm. and I don't know. I'm excited. I want it to has, read it. I, I, it has a lot more magic in it than I thought it would. Mm -hmm. That's like the thing because it's just about two people from one is from like a military training group and they kind of lord over people and the girl in the story is from the other side of that world and they kind of come together and meet when she becomes a slave basically in the camp that he works at. Mm -hmm. But the cool part about it is there's just so much magic in the books like so much more and you are not kidding Sabah will literally like I was reading it and was like is this an adult book because there's a lot of um it might be actually I don't know it. I think it is I, I think it's YA but um, yeah it was intense um, but I just want that character journey <laughs> like I just want to be <laughs> that said I want to be like surprised and like I was just looking at my shelves for this because like, I didn't pick it until today <laughs> and yeah. I was like what can give me that like want to sit and read this for like forever, you know, like on yeah. at the edge of my seat being like, test me. <laughs> I think you'd like it. Um, you know, we'll see. I'm excited, <laughs> I own it. I thought I unhauled it, but I just checked, I've got it. I own it as well, so it's all good. I think oh, we're all good hey. here for anything. I can believe we only have three nominations that never happened before. <laughs> yeah. This Bunny, Bunny huh? said, I read it. I just checked my Goodreads and didn't like it, which historically means Jade will really like it. <laughs> Me and Bunny have different <laughs> opinions on everything. <laughs> oh, hey, good sign for you then. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I really want to, like, I just, it's time. I will read it regardless <laughs> now, like, after this, yeah, yeah. if it doesn't get picked. Because I just, like, I feel like I'm going to get spoiled soon if I don't. Because <laughs> there's another one coming, no? Like, the last yeah. one or something? The fourth I don't one. Know. Okay, let me just enter that. It's so magical. <laughs> They're some of my favorite characters in books ever. Especially the girls. The girls are so badass in that series. Oh my god. I'm excited for any of these. This is really yeah. fantastic. Okay, so I... Can you see? I don't know if you can see. Can you see? Yeah. Now yeah. I'm going to try and find the button now. Eh. Down? Down. Hey, I think you got what it. Is it. What is it? I don't know. An ember in the ashes? It is! Oh my god! Yay! Hey, 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 you're so nice. <laughs> what a moment. I know. Someone screenshot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Okay, I hope it's good. Wow, okay. I didn't realize how much pressure it is when you actually get your book nominated. And now I just like instant anxiety <laughs> after a second, like, oh yeah. shit. <laughs> Everyone must like it. <laughs> I hope they do. It's not the shortest one, but like the 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 font is quite like not small either. So I can already one. tell you that I liked it. So like it has a lot of dialogue, which just makes me excited because <laughs> I'm not yeah. the biggest fan of long descriptions. I'm excited. Yes, I'm also That's very exciting. excited. Uh, when will, oh, good question. Thank you. I forgot from what my excitement <laughs> when the next live stream will be. <laughs> um, so, what's the middle month? Uh, April, correct? Yes, correct. <laughs> and last Saturday, April 27th. Awesome. I'm going to put it in my calendar now. Yes, me too. Um, or after. <laughs> Everybody wants to know what I would have nominated. I don't even know what I would have nominated. <laughs> Oh yeah, what would you have? Oh, you just said you don't know. <laughs> oh, I don't even know. Probably Kings of the Wild because I want every single one of you to read it. I will read it this year. This is one of my yearly goals that I set oh my for God. myself. It was one of the four books that I said I'm gonna read this year. So good. Oh my God. I heard um someone talk about that. I think yesterday in one of the 
was it Cody from Cody's Book Corner? I think she was talking about mm -hmm. it in her top 10 or top 13 fave books or something. It's it just sounds like it's going to be my cup of tea as well. I'm just very excited about it. Also, the author is so nice. When I was going yeah. through what I've been going through for the past week, he messaged me and was like, I hope you're doing okay. And I was like, stop making oh, me cry. Oh, that's, that's so lovely. He's like the nicest dude. That's sweet. Oh my God, Bunny, don't. <laughs> Bunny, Go the wedding. Is, uh, just <laughs> the best. <laughs> I have a wedding, not anymore. Uh, <laughs> Actually, I also have a wedding on the April, but I'll have to check the date. <laughs> I'll get back to you if anything changes, but I think it's on a different date. Um, okay, so are we happy to go into the spoilery bits? It's about the half point now of the live stream. Yeah. Um, so I think if any of you guys just popped in to just hang out with us, for a little while before we go into the spoilery bits and you have not read Wake of Vultures and you plan on doing that in the future, <laughs> this is where you will probably leave us, which is very sad, but we will hopefully see you in April. The book is An Ember in the Ashes, yay. <laughs> um, very excited, a little bit scared, <laughs> mostly excited. Um, <laughs> Okay, and I think we're just gonna start. So, bye bye, people who haven't read the book. <laughs> should, should I leave? I was gonna say, do you want to get out there? Hey, I read like 10 pages. No, I read 80. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it makes me so sad. And now I wanna know what happens at 80 pages. Because that I was can, a point I can tell you later on, yeah. Ten but yeah, okay, more. this was your warning. We're going officially into spoilers. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, so Wake of Vultures. So as we always probably do, <laughs> let's go around uh, and tell very shortly just like how many stars you gave it um, and like super briefly what you thought about it. And then let's go all in. <laughs> Who wants to start? You normally go alphabetically, who's first? Okay, back. It's <laughs> oh, <that's> always me. <laughs> um, so I gave Wake of Vultures three out of five stars. I was tossing up on the rating for a long time, mm -hmm. but I settled on a three. Um, it was an interesting read, mm -hmm. but I had a few issues. Mm -hmm. um, do I say the issues now or are we going to yeah, we'll get into that, yeah. <laughs> That's a, it was a three for me. Mm -hmm. Cool. Jide? I gave it four stars and was so surprised mm -hmm. by pretty much everything. It was nothing that I expected it to be and a heck of a lot better than I thought mm -hmm. it was going to be. So, yeah, four stars from me. I mean, it has a feather on the cover. Yeah, it's got a bird <laughs> name. And a That's the only reason. Oh, <laughs> spoilers alert for next time. I'm not going to like it. There's no birds. Oh, no. <laughs> There's, There's a, a cat. cat. That's really not the same, is it? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> anyway, four stars from me. <laughs> Jez? I gave it four. 4.5. Nice. Ooh. It was the Western I didn't know I needed, mm, frankly. I really liked it. There was like one or two things that kind of bugged me about it, but nothing like too big that it was just, I think the dialogue sometimes is why I ended up giving it four instead of five. Mm -hmm. But I loved it and I can't wait to read the next one. <laughs> That's really good. Uh, I <laughs> see a neft it at, you know what? I'm just going to check. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, you know what? I did not know this is going to be a Western. So even from the start, I just, sort of, like, I blocked it out. I don't know. I am, um, from the start, I probably just had, um, wrong idea of where I'm going. <laughs> um, what the hell? Okay, whatever. It's not available. Um, but yeah, I read 80 pages. Uh, I did read it in one sitting, but I can't really rate it, obviously, because I read 80 pages. Um, although it's not the biggest book, so it's like 
a reasonable chunk for me to decide whether I want to read it or not. And I just uh, didn't care, but I do want to say that I think it could be a really wonderful book for many people. Yeah. It's because I don't like Westerns. Like, I just I struggle with that a lot. Like, there's only a couple of things that are Western one <laughs> that yeah. I like, and that's Westworld. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, you know, it's just purely, not purely that, but part, partially that. Um, so I don't know with the stars. <laughs> but that's that. Um, okay, should we start with positives? Uh, what's the best thing you thought about this book was like what's the strongest thing uh jess consistency mm -hmm. i felt like Nettie really struggled from the very beginning with obviously like having been a slave and like trying to fit in and not really feeling like she fit in and trying to find her own tribe and then even to the very end of the book she still felt like that i feel like a big thing for me that turns me off with books is i don't feel like the story is developed enough for a character to change in like the first book or second book I feel like there's gonna be a lot of change for her and the other characters throughout the rest of the books but I was really glad the consistency through the whole thing like the characters stayed true to like who they were like up until the very end Nettie was like I can't fucking do this and then you know so I like that a lot that was my favorite part I just really like the characters and their consistency that's good Jade I probably would have to agree with that um but also as I said, it took me by surprise so much because of how many of these mythical creatures came through in there. So you start off with kind of a surprising appearance of a vampire. It's like, what? Why? And yeah. then you've got the harpies and the skinwalkers and the um, lizard creatures and the werewolves. And like it's yeah. encompassed so many in so different ways that you never really knew what was coming where and that's the sort of thing that I like as I said before I like the books that kind of make you go like what mm -hmm. and I did throughout a lot of this it was surprising in so many ways and also sorry rambling here um if anyone's familiar with the last unicorn um mummy fortuna's zoo in that reminded me of this if anyone is familiar with mummy fortuna and her zoo <laughs> Ben, I'm going to check it out now. Um, I I went with the characters as probably my favourite part. My um, I found it funny because Jade's, like one of Jade's likes is actually what I didn't like about it. We'll move on that later. Um, but I liked the characters. I think Nettie was really cool. I liked that she was having like struggles with her identity and I liked mm -hmm. the different representation in it. Um, and I liked the mythology. I thought that was really cool. Um. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's all for me. I thought Nettie was really, like, a good main character to follow mm -hmm. um, throughout. I uh, I enjoyed the unexpected world, basically. I thought it was very, you know, in this world, there's very few original ideas, and I'm sure it's been done before. I'm just, like, not aware of it. But to me, that was very unexpected, uh, a Western setting with a um, sort of um, diverse main character and vampires that to me was just like really unexpected because I didn't know what to expect when I uh, went in it and I think it was really inventive and mm -hmm. just shifted my perspective in the way that I was in like you know um, so that was really fun for me but it just wasn't enough. <laughs> um, Do you think you'll ever go back? No. Yeah. So that was my next point. Can someone just shortly summarize what happens? Spoil me away, please. <laughs> she kills the, the the owl thing. That's literally mm -hmm. the whole the whole thing she sets out to do. She does it. Well, I don't know. She, she, goes in, she goes in and um, I'm assuming she goes away because that woman told her to go and do yeah, something. Yeah, so the woman told and she's her looking... about, what is it, Pia, my something or other. So does she, does she find out? who where she comes from because that was the point no i mean uh mm. she, well at the end of the book she jumps <laughs> off a cliff and you think she turns into a harpy okay so from where you are to that ending mm -hmm. there's a lot 
There's like a lot, <laughs> but not a lot that happens in the middle of that. Mm-hmm. My theory is that she's a skinwalker of a vulture or a harpy or something. Yeah, some vulture sort of would make walker. sense because of the title. She like looks at the at the harpy feather and is like, "Oh, I understand," and like tosses the feather and then just like jumps off the fucking cliff. And I'm like, "Please stop. let's not forget yeah, that she nice. completely strips before she does." That. <laughs> yeah. In my book, it has the the first chapter of the second one, and I skimmed over it but didn't look at it all the way. And it starts off with her trying to still trying to figure out what she is, so she doesn't mm-hmm. really know. Funny. Uh, yeah. <laughs> when Sam says that all the vultures, when they're in a group, are called a wake of vultures. Yeah. yeah. I thought that was called that because of when before she went in to kill the owl. Like, yeah, there lots said- of vultures. Yeah, and he said, oh, all the vultures together are called a wake of vultures. I also liked Coyote Dan a lot. Yeah, me too. Yeah, same. That's the only thing I didn't like about the book was struggling with the love interests every turn. Mm. Okie doke. Let's go into um, what you didn't necessarily like as much. Uh, Jade? Um, I would have liked to have seen more exploration of her sexuality and her gender because obviously that is a big point of it but I feel like so much of it still hasn't been explored enough because obviously she doesn't see herself as a girl she doesn't see herself as a boy but she refers to herself as she and everyone else refers to her as she Mm -hmm. so I want to kind of see where she ends up sitting on that but I mean there's still two more books of self-discovery for her so we'll see where that goes and as I say, her sexuality as well, because obviously she has wavering thoughts on pretty much everyone around her. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I didn't get to that point, so I didn't know she's actually um, not really conforming to one gender, because at the point where I was, she was just still, pre- well, the book made me feel like she was still pretending to be a boy because of the society. You Later know? on, she gets quite, I can't remember who it's towards, but she gets quite aggressive towards someone calling her girl, saying like, don't call me girl, I'm not a girl, and they're going, but you mm-hmm. are a girl. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. see. So. Okay, I'll go next. <laughs> um, for me, it was purely well taking away my personal you know preference for settings and i just really don't um like westerns um it was the lack of me caring about the characters i suppose the character development i felt like we were just sort of thrown into the story with a little bit of you know a risky start so you would feel you know like you're rooting for this character but i felt like i need to know more about the character to even root for um i didn't feel like i cared even though i felt like i'm really clearly told to care Mm -hmm. because of all of those reasons because she was in a very very um unfortunate situation during that time and you know being um black and being a female both of these things like one would be difficult but both of these things together was even more uh, challenging so i felt like it just really tried to make me care but i just couldn't and at the end of i well at the end at the end where i was <laughs> i started skimming and i never do that i never skim and that that's when i sort of stopped and i was like why would me? Time. <laughs> not for me, clearly, yeah. And it's not like I hated it, but I just, I just realized how much I don't care. Just, I just started skimming, and I think it was partially also the language. It just really grinded yeah. on me <laughs> because of the setting, and I don't know why. I just like it's not for me. It just, I don't know. <laughs> but the main thing that made me um, decide that I'm not gonna go on is because I just didn't care for anyone. Like at at that point, anyone could have died, and I would be like. Hmm. You know, lots of people die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. My favorite right. part was when she killed somebody on accident. I was like, oh, did you just shoot nice. that dude. The only person who's ever been nice to you. Did you just shoot him in the face? <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> fine. This is fine. Yeah. Standard. <laughs> yeah. Uh, mine was the language too. The mm. just the overuse of the Western language really annoyed me because it was kind of. In my opinion, it was written as if, like, an Australian would walk around saying all the stereotypical shit <laughs> that we don't actually say, and that's what they said, like, nonstop. Mm. Like, Sam Hill, was it? I can't remember. They, there was, like, a Why person's Sam name. Why would I do that? 
<laughs> yeah, I was just like, and it was just over and over, and I was just like, oh, come on. Like, that just annoyed me, something shocking. And I felt like, for me, it really just, my reading really dragged. Like, mm. normally I can could get through this really quickly, and I was just like, this is so slow. Um, but, yeah. I'm assuming Monty is the guy that died because everyone's crying. Everyone in the loves Monty. <laughs> Is that the guy from the factory? He from was the guy from the ranch, ranch next to her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. She accidentally him. shot in the head. Shot, yeah. As you do. <laughs> it was what? just slowly what? skimmed I didn't over about that as well. She shot him in the head and then, like, what was it, like 20 pages later they were talking about how great her aim was. was yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no. Accident, you say. Mm. <laughs> Don't know about that. <laughs> um, I love Bunny in the comment. <laughs> the first person oh, okay. who ever treated her like a person and she killed him, I cannot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. But <laughs> what can you do? Yeah. Um, so <laughs> speaking of characters, is that like unanimously um, favorite of everyone? No, Coyote Dan. He's yeah, Dan. Best. Dan is the best. Yeah, I, I like Dan too. He's a big, hot, hairy dude. I'm fine with this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I got to that point. <laughs> no, you wouldn't no. have met Dan. You just got to the bit where the vulture called her a bitch, didn't you? You know, I can't remember. It was like. Was <laughs> I think it was <laughs> before. I think she was just leaving or something like that. Like okay. the main. Bit. Oh, you missed the part where she chopped off a penis. Yeah, I did miss that. Yeah. Oh, that was, that was a good part. <laughs> that was a good part. I was like, yeah, like at work, like, yes, she did it, she did it. <laughs> she can't <laughs> aim up with that, like. <laughs> and then she threw it off a cliff. And yeah. Like, oh, go, go fetch. <laughs> it was <laughs> just like, to a dog. When you guys speak about it, it just sounds like something I would so enjoy. <laughs> <But> then, <laughs> then I think it maybe was the writing, so it just didn't sit well with me. It yeah. just. Yeah, I don't know. You know, not every we'll, book. We'll give you synopsis as the synopses as the books. <laughs> yeah, yes, keep me updated. <laughs> I'm just joking. I really don't care. I just can't. I don't care about it at all. Um, she gets way more likable later, but I could see why it's like I don't yeah. think I didn't. I didn't like her at first. I found her super annoying, but then eventually I was like, oh, you're all right. But I like I the supporting characters way more than her. Like Winifred and I think yeah, Sam and thing. I just didn't care about any of them, and I feel like I was just so forced to care, sort of, you know, but just didn't. But I think it it wasn't just one thing. It wasn't just the setting, writing style, and the yeah. character development. I feel like if it was one thing, I would just go on, you know, keep going. Mm -hmm. I think it was just like a little package for me personally. But I know, like, I've looked at some of the reviews after that, just being like, am I missing something? Maybe I should go on. And a lot of them are really, really good. <laughs> yeah, like a it lot is of a very beloved, beloved series. Yeah, I had no idea, but it's like a beloved series. Like I posted a picture on Instagram, and someone's like, "This is my favorite series of all time," and I was like, "I have never heard about this before." No, yeah. I don't. They, they like books where penises are cut off. Clearly, <laughs> yeah. who doesn't? Like Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm just. I think this is the first book that me and Bunny have ever agreed on. <laughs> True. Fetch boy, who's Fetch boy? No, like the <laughs> oh, okay. So it was a character like that. He, he like was that. a werewolf, <laughs> so it's funny because he's basically a dog, and she throws his penis off a cliff, and is basically like, "Go get it." <laughs> Savage. Yeah. Um, what a moment! I was confused on what was up with. A bad beef. Yeah, so when they touch it or eat it, it gets it makes the meat sick basically. So if they eat it, they can either turn or they'll turn super slowly and then eventually just die. Mm. The vampire cow, yeah. <laughs> That's why it burned her. I think the reason why it burned her a little bit, but burned the other guy is because he was like elbow deep trying to skin it basically. Vampire bunnies? <laughs> Oh, the vampire bunnies! Oh my also, god! Also, we so can't be sure if it would have had the same effect on her because obviously yeah. she's not human, and it wouldn't yeah. have turned her. Yeah. Okay. What? Well, um, 
I don't know, you guys, what would you want? I guess this is hard for me to ask because I haven't really read the book. So Danielle had a really good point. Danielle is like leading the chat. Yeah. She said to me it was all about people's stereotypes and how we try to force ourselves into these boxes and how painful and frustrating it can be to claw our way out. It's so true. Cause when she finds yeah. out that his name's Sam. Sam, Sam. Yeah. yeah. When she finds out he's gay and she's trying to Winifred's trying to explain to her, like, no one fits exactly how you think it is. Like this is there's a vast world out there. You've only ever lived on the farm with like your parents, those assholes. Um yeah. when she realizes that, I'm just like, wow, her earth must just be shattering right now. But that's like the, that's the whole point of the book, I think, is to make you feel like that. It's very important, I feel like. Especially yeah. since it's a fucking Western. Like, who does this in a Western setting? <laughs> I don't understand. Apparently, Lila Bowen does this in a Western setting. I adore her. Is, this, uh, is she from the mm -hmm. ends? Is what? Like, the author, is she from those parts? She's from she Tennessee. Married, she's married with children. What? <laughs> no, I meant the parts. <laughs> it's from oh. Tennessee. Yes, then she is slightly from the country. But she said she got her inspiration from a Western that she watched when she was really young. And it had like a really yeah, big importance on her life. Mm. Yeah, I think, I think I did like it more because it was in a Western setting. I mean, yeah. my favorite series of all time is the Dark Tower series and that's a Western. So I guess I like Westerns more than I thought I did. I don't know. <laughs> Did you guys um, like the plot? Yes. Yes. I like how it was. <laughs> I think it was just slow and just fast enough for me. The pacing was really good for me. Lonesome Dove is the film. There, yeah. There we go. Nice. So are you guys going to read the sequel? Oh, she said it was inspired by that meeting Buffy the Vampire Slayer, which just makes it even better. Yeah. <laughs> I'm definitely going to read the next That one. makes sense why Bunny likes it then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah true. true. Yeah. I, I will watch it at some point. Wait, Buffy is not a Western, is it? No. no she's just a monster <laughs> slayer. A high school. Um, but yeah, will you guys be reading the sequels? Mm-hmm. I would like to. Mm -hmm. no. Why own a Molly might as well. Are you not going to bag? No. What? I just can't. I can't we, do it. If they keep, 50, that 50 language split. is yuck. <laughs> <laughs> you want to sometimes with series, one is like, if you content with one, that's totally fine, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. it's and I, that sort of nice, not entirely open ending. You can kind of finish it yourself. Like, she jumped off the cliff, she sprouted wings, she's a vulture. There you go. Like, I want to know. Kind of what, make it up yourself. I want to. I want to know what's going to happen in the next. Like, what the plot of the second one and the third one is going to be? Since she's, she basically became the shadow yeah, to the, kill the, the series, owl. The series is called The Shadow. So, oh, so does she just keep hunting hmm. big ass monsters? <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. Because only she can see them and hide from them, or whatever. Angela yeah. said it reminded her a bit of Alloy of Law by Brandon Sanderson, which is set a bit in the Western setting. And Danielle's already started reading the second this one. She's like, like 75 percent I literally love anything but that I read by Brandon. So if I like a Western, it's probably gonna be that one. <laughs> <laughs> that one. I'll get back to you guys. <laughs> Sandra's gonna continue too. Nice. Yeah. I'm so glad I picked a good book. I wasn't liked, yeah. I picked a good book finally. Yeah. Gosh. I have an unpopular opinion. A hey, what else is new? <laughs> I was gonna say that's not you and I tend to have I used to say that we had pretty similar reading tastes, but the more I think about it, the more we have incredibly a different reading tastes. Do we? <laughs> like yeah. what else do we not like the same? Um... Other than Strange the Dreamer. <laughs> oh my god, that fucking series. Uh <laughs> duology, whatever crap it's called. Well, there's hey, books, hey, sorry, sorry. There's books Whoa. that you really loved that I was like, meh, about. And there's books that I really, really loved that you're like, yeah, whatever. You know what I mean? <laughs> not necessarily like completely different. I think Jade and I have more of a similar taste. Whoop, whoop. Oh, think, right. Jess, you liked Annihilation. I did. Mm -hmm. There you go. That's it. We Thank liked you. Annihilation. They didn't. And me and yeah. both have the Themis files that we really Me and like. Jade are just like 50 50. It can really yeah. go either way. <laughs> but we never like. 
slightly disagree. It's either if we disagree, then it's like completely One different. Or yeah. <laughs> and me and Beg have a very similar taste, I think. Yeah. And then, then, then me and Bunny have in common. Me and Bunny <laughs> have every book in common almost. <laughs> every book I read that I love, I'm like, I'm gonna send you this book. <laughs> Read this book. <laughs> Cry over the wolf and the whale with me, please. I want to read that. Oh my god, it's so fucking good. I really want to read. <laughs> but maybe just give something two stars. What was that? I, I got a gold star for picking a good book. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think I that means you're the corrupted. first person with a gold star. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Bunny's calling me corrupted, apparently. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm like, read this really sad book. <laughs> <laughs> she was just sending me video messages of her just crying. Oh, <laughs> sounds fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Is there anything else you guys really liked, like a particular scene or something? Have a favorite? The chopping off of the penis. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> I was waiting um, for someone to say it. <laughs> good that AJ is not here this week. <laughs> you know what I did really like? In the cave at the end, when um, Winifred was on the spike, she had the spike to her, and then the owl creature pushed Nettie down on top of it. Like It was so delightfully gruesome. I really liked it. <laughs> but there was when she kicked her and was like, fly. And I was like crying yeah. at work, like, oh, Winifred. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought she was going to fucking die. Oh, and when she then put the basket in the fire in this cave, like, you're gonna smoke yourself out, you fucking idiot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no common sense. <laughs> Bless her. Bless no, little I believe she accidentally shot someone in the face. <laughs> she didn't just shoot him, she right face. between the eyes and killed him. Like, <laughs> so what do you guys think was the main, like, sort of message? Did you learn anything? What <laughs> was the moral of the story? Breaking out of stereotypes and that no mm. one fits in these boxes and that there's so much more to the world than you know and people's views and the way people live their lives. Because it sounds like it was, uh, you know, we were like sort of joking about the gruesome scenes and whatnot, but it sounds like it was sort of important read with like <laughs> themes that are like, you know, prevalent. Yeah. yeah. Like how Danielle said, I agree with what she said earlier. Yeah. Mm. And it's it was nice. I feel like the important thing was she didn't, there was so much that was presented to her that she didn't understand and didn't know like what to do with, but she just did it anyway. So it's like most people, when they come up against something that they're not familiar with, whether it be like LGBT or something like that, they tend to shut down and not try to learn or like allow it into their life and like grow from it Nettie being from going from a slave on a farm to doing all of this and meeting all these different types of people didn't you know she didn't like fight against that she was like all right well this is how it is like she was really accepting of that so not just like that these kind of people exist but the being accepting and learning and growing and changing from it i think is mm. I, what i got from it mostly mm. And I'll just pose out a quote from it. Many monsters will hide what they are, especially when they suspect you might see the truth. Truth requires trust. Yeah. Nice. Oh, Coyote Dan. <laughs> I mean, I'm sad I didn't like it. I really wanted to, but can't change it. <laughs> when I picked it up and realized it was a Western after I started reading it, I was like, oh shit, no one's going to like this. <laughs> Isn't this I was like a because it's setting thing your brain hmm? hmm? What'd you think? Hmm? <laughs> Who saying what? You. <laughs> Me. Yeah. Oh, I said I said it was um set in Durango. Yeah. Um or map of Durango territory, and I got excited because I've been there. Oh. Hey. Is that is not a map? That? Yeah, there's a map at the front. Is there a map in our edition? How Am did I, I miss that? Where's my book? Right here. God damn it. <laughs> like a bunny's complaining about feller. Oh, wow. Well, the map even has where all of the like different creatures live. Yeah. Well, I'm glad I didn't, I didn't. And trolls and sasquatches and wyverns. And I'm glad I didn't look at that so then. 
I, I didn't I didn't know and I literally knew nothing about this book I just saw that it had really good reviews and ratings and I was like all right I'm gonna read it and then I was like oh it's a western and then that guy exploded and I'm like is he a fucking vampire like this is the second book I've read in like four months where I'm like is that a vampire like <laughs> wait 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 so you didn't know anything about the book and you recommend it to all of us <laughs> yeah. that's, that's a big one. It, it did really well so I did the book it was Jess but it paid off I did really well <laughs> Trolls, yes, trolls. Trolls are on the map. Just oh, yeah, they talk about the, oh, the captain rode a fucking unicorn. Un unicorns yeah. are on the map. Mm -hmm. That was the cool part. Like, there's a goddamn unicorn in this book. I'm sold. <laughs> and then That's the unicorn exploded. I don't think like, like, mm -hmm. everything there. Everything's going into this. Oh yeah, I'm excited to see where the next one goes. There's a mermaid colony. Oh, how was the audiobook, Taylor? Because Taylor, she's saying she's listened to it in, on audiobook. I feel like if you see that map, though, before you go into the book, that's a bit of a spoilery yeah, thing, you know? Like, you see all of the, <laughs> the creatures. I hope, yeah. I hope the audiobook had cool music and, like, tumbleweed sounds and shit. I imagine it, it would be very be Western. <laughs> what did Taylor give it, is my question. Yeah, Taylor. Yeah, Taylor, what yeah, did you give it? Yeah, I asked her to pop in. I don't know. I think she maybe have some technical difficulties. Um. Yeah, they did kill the unicorn bunny. It was sad. Oh, and with it being a unicorn and them not seeing that it's a unicorn, that again reminded me of the last unicorn and Mummy Fortuna's thing. Did she, did she shoot? They the didn't unicorn realize it was the in the head. They didn't realize it was a unicorn. unicorn. <laughs> they didn't know it was a unicorn until it died. I think when it because they cut off its horn. Yeah. Oh. All the unicorns they cut off their horns. Because a unicorn's power is in like a horn or some shit, isn't it? Pretty sure. Something like that, probably. <laughs> cool. Any last thoughts on the book? Yes. On the front of it, it says, I enjoyed the hell out of it, which is a quote from Patrick Rothfuss, and you yeah. didn't like it. I know, I read his review. <laughs> Jeez, like, I read the review. <laughs> like, he... Surprise, not as, not as um, straightforward though. He was like it's five stars, but I must admit, yeah. like I don't know the number it was something. He said he was like biased or something because of I don't know themes. I think yeah. He's like Stephen <laughs> King. Stephen King loves everything that he reads and watches, and I'm like, please stop. Oh no, <laughs> Patrick does not love everything. Oh no, <laughs> I'm missing out on sassy Patrick reviews. <laughs> Well, yeah, I think that is pretty much a wrap up then, and we're very much on time. So, if you guys, if you guys have any questions regarding the book or anything you want to ask the girls, shoot that now because we're gonna stop pretty soon. Yeah. Um, Taylor ended up giving it two stars. Oh. Oh no. You've been googling how to join Hangouts. You just need to click the link I sent. <laughs> um. Oh, yeah. Our friend Pat. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that Westerns were like big in America, no? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not unless you yeah. also coincidentally live in the state of Tennessee, Florida, Texas. I mean, I don't know. Western shows, I think, are really popular, but Western books are like what our grandpas read. And usually our grandpas were called Tex, even though they weren't actually from Texas, that kind of thing. Aw, thank you, subtle bookish. Really glad that you joined, even though we haven't read the book. Aw. Aw. Thanks for being here. And thank you, everyone, for hanging out. Like, I really enjoy these live streams and look forward to every three months. Fine. <laughs> um, I hope to see you in the next one which is April 27th, unless it changes, but we will let you know. Um, I'm glad that, you know, basically everyone enjoyed the book. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I don't know. That's everything probably, yeah. Yeah, just yeah. on time. Yes. So as I said, work. the girls are linked down below. Make sure to check them out. Thank you so, so much for joining, honestly. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.